I've brought up the DPL multiple times at this point, but for good reason. That tournament series is of the highest caliber for Pokemon Draft, and you need a really good team of strong players to be able to win it. In Season 7, King L5 and I co-captain the Infernal Armory, and one of our primary targets to add to our team, who was unfortunately sniped from us, was our opponent this week in the TGS, JCM Shadow. The smaller the team size, the higher the power level of each individual member. Shadow's team is no exception, sporting dangerous threats like Deoxys Speed, Terra Kirim, Quackwivel, and Goldengo. I had to bust out some pretty interesting prep for this one, so let's check it out. Assault Vest Iron Boulder is an absolute must this week. As you can see, Shadow's special attackers really do not appreciate Iron Boulder and have a hard time hitting it for super effective damage, save Superior. Our SPDF investment coupled with the Assault Vest allows us to switch into Choice Specs Kirim's Ice Beams, Dark Pulses from Deoxys, Hatterene's Stabs, and Thundee's T-Bolts with ease. Our speed covers Superior and our moves are tailored to hit nearly the entire team for super effective damage. Mighty Cleave for Kirim, Thundee, and Flareon, Zen Headbutt for Quackwivel and Gloom, Megahorn for Deoxys, Tinglu, and Superior, and EQ for Goldengo. Weezing 2 is an absolute must bring here as our opponent has one of the easiest mons to let get out out of control. Quackwivel. Nearly max defense with a little bit of speed to cover partially speed invested Ting Lu with black sludge for recovery and neutralizing gas to allow us to defog on the Goldengo. Strange Steam, Pain Split, and Will-O-Wisp round out the set. Our next member had me wrestling with a few different set ideas, but I ended up with this. Terra Electric Archaladon with Power Herb. We have quite a bit of Spadef investment to try and live Shadow's strongest special hits from full, a little bit of speed which covers a bulkier Goldengo, and a modest nature with 136 special attack to attempt a 1v1 against Ting Lu. We're rocking not one, but two Electric Stabs in Electro Shot and Thunderbolt, as Aura Sphere covers the Electric Resist that I think would come to this game in Kyurem and Ting Lu. Finally, our designated rocker is once again Archaladon. This next set idea comes to us thanks to Zooch, our mock partner and fellow TGS coach. Link in the description. While Weezing is excellent at checking it, our primary Quackwivel switch in on this team is actually Mirror Herb Ogre Pond. Hopefully he doesn't get crit and die this week, but Mirror Herb covers both SD and Aqua Step upon Quack's first appearance on the field. We have enough bulk to easily eat Life Orb close combat and speed to creep our own Great Tusk by two points. Horn Leech, Low Kick, and Knock Off hit Shadow's team very well outside of Gloom, and Synthesis allows us to stay in on more passive mons like Hatterene and Ting. Moltres is here to stop Goldengo and mainly Superior from getting out of hand. We're primarily specially defensive, but are still packing enough speed to creep what I believe Goldengo and Quackwivel should be maxed out at. Despite having a much higher base special attack, Hatterene's tendency to run Calm Mindsets kind of forces our hand here, so we'll be using Brave Bird, Flare Blitz, and U-Turn on a more physically attacking set with Roost for recovery. Lastly, Greninja makes a return this week with Choice Scarfed Battle Bond. Considering how common Booster Energy Boulder and Battle Bond Gren are, I'm expecting Shadow to have an emergency button for them. The first thought that comes to mind is a Choice Scarf Deoxys Speed. If Greninja gets off a Dark Pulse and a kill, thus subsequently activating Battle Bond, Dio Speed can no longer revenge it as we would still be faster than a Scarf variant. Hydro Pump hits most of the team really well, extra sensory covers for Quackwivel and Gloom simultaneously, and finally U-Turn lets us gain momentum on bulkier mons like Superior and Kyurem. I've lost a Shadow the two times we've played until now. I'm looking to change that today. Let's play. All right, so he brought he brought the Ting Lu. Okay, I'm gonna have to be careful about how I use my Archalot on here because it is Terra Electric. As you can see, we're rocking a new overlay for the battle now. You can actually see the mons on the bottom and you can actually see me choose moves. I think I'm okay leading with probably Grim ninja here honestly maybe it's best just to lead with arch yeah that's probably the lead all right we see a thunderous lead here i can tear immediately and i could just go for stealth rocks or i could go for electro shot i'm probably just gonna go for rocks yep I'm gonna Terra and go for rocks. Ting Lu could come in here, kind of what I'm expecting. I don't really care. We do see the Kirim. The Kirim is Terra ground, as I had expected, actually. Let's just get up rocks and let's see which of his mons are boots, which aren't. See if the Kirim's boots. We do need the health on the Weezing if the Kirim is Terra ground, because Terra ground means that it's more than likely uh, physically attacking. And Scarf is gonna be very nice here, because I can Scarf Hydro Pump the Kirim post Terra. So here's the Volt Switch. We take 26 from that. Uh, seems about correct. Yeah, 23 to 28 here. All right, 
In comes gold. I don't think this thing can knock me out with anything. I'll check Spec Shadow Ball just in case, but I don't think it does. Yeah, Spec Shadow Ball does 77. So I am just gonna go for Electro Shot. That is Specs. However, we are gonna get off a massive hit on this Goldengo, which is huge for us. In fact, we're just going to kill it. Wow. <laughs> okay. Well, that goes down. That's sweet. I mean, pretty good use of the Terra. We got up rocks and we got rid of Goldengo. I don't know why he thought that he would kill me there. I mean, the roll is in my favor. There's no one move I can lock into with Greninja yet, but it is looking quite good. <laughs> with Goldengo gone, a Moltres's roll is a lot less. So I could actually bring it in on Deoxys speed and we can conserve the Archaladon. Alternatively, we can just let the Archaladon go down. It doesn't do anything else here. It's slower than everything but the Tinglu and the only thing it can do to Tinglu is Aura Sphere. Uh, now, if the Tinglu does come in, I am going to spam Aura Sphere because Aura Sphere is going to do like a good 30%. Like I'll, I'll show you guys. Aura Sphere 31 to 36 to a very specially defensive variant of, uh, of Tinglu because I'm at plus one. Okay, so in comes Kiram. It is Boots. If it's physical, then my Iron Boulder cannot come in immediately. But my Weezing can after. Now, I am neutralizing gas. I'm not Levitate. But I'm fully physically defensive, so I'm pretty sure I take a Terra Blast, even at plus one. So I think we're just going to Aura Sphere. We see a neutral Terra Blast come out and knock us out. So he doesn't want to Terra yet. That's fair enough. And I think we are just going to go into Weezing. Now, I think that was a physical Terra Blast, if I had to guess. I think this thing is going to be DD. I could also alternatively go Boulder, but Boulder just procs the Terra turn. And I know that this thing is Terra Ground. I think we are just going to try to Wisp. I doubt he sub DD on this team. So I am just going to go for Wisp. If he sub, that's really bad. <laughs> All right. So he does Terra Ground. He does sub. Oh, God. All right. This is bad. Okay. I got a Steam here. I could use up my Ogre Pond for this just to break the sub. Mirror, Bright. That could be the play. There's no way he's not bulky. Okay, so sub Terra Blast. How much does plus one Terra Blast do to Gren? 95 to 112 to my set. That's not good. Alternatively, I could go Moltres, but I kind of need Moltres. Do I have to exhaust the mirror now, really? But then that just gets him to plus two, plus two. I think I have to steam here. Here's the DD. Get off the strange steam. It doesn't break his sub, of course. And uh, yeah, I just have to steam again. There's nothing else I can do. He DDs again. He probably knocks me out with a plus two. 105 to 125. Yeah, I'm completely dead. So we're just going to strange steam here. There's the dragon dance. Hopefully this connects. There's the steam. He doesn't know my item yet, so I'm just going to steam again. He's probably just going to sub again. Yeah, let's just steam. Hopefully we crit. That is not a crit. Let's just steam again. Probably just attacks here. Goes for Ice School Spear as opposed to Terra Blast. I'm not sure why. Interesting. Why did he play this like this? How much does Moltres take? <laughs> 98 to 115 from four hits. He's, he's boots though. He's not dice. So he's not necessarily going to get all the hits, right? In fact, it's unlikely that he does. So I'm just going to steam again. He doesn't have a roost, obviously. We don't break the sub there. Yeah, we got to just go for steam again. I mean, there's nothing else I can do. He's just going to spear here, yeah. And then I got to go Moltres. And I think I have to U-turn into Greninja and bluff the Water Shuriken. He could also be extremely bulky and I could outspeed him with Scarf. So I am just going to go for U-turn. Here's the Icicle Spear. Okay, it only gets three hits. We do break the sub. We go to Greninja. And we attempt to outspeed him and go for Hydro Pump. We do outspeed him. We get the Battle Bond. Okay, we're, we're still in this game. And I'm hoping he goes to Quack. Because then that would give me Ogre Pond's item. It would give me the Mirror Herb. So we're still in this game, luckily, somehow. <laughs> I, I really thought I lost to that Kiram right there. Does go Quack. We're going to go Ogre Pond. Goes for Aqua Step. I get the Mirror Herb. And we are just going to go for a Horn Leech. I could totally see Thunderous coming in, but if Thunderous comes in on a, uh, its Life Orb, right? So I can't really do that safely. I think I do just Horn Leech then. Because I think my win con at this point is Greninja. Like, Boulder's still really good, obviously, but... Because AV into Deoxys speed and stuff. Okay, so we do get off the uh, the uh, Horn Leech there. Goes for CC, does not knock me out. And uh, we will just go for another Horn Leech. Quack is pretty much useless at this point. He is going to sack it off. And I'm assuming the Thunderous is going to come in. Maybe to paralyze me, perhaps. But if it does do that, it gets knocked off. And then Greninja can revenge it. 
I could alternatively just go hard Boulder or Moltres. Like those seem like fine plays. I kind of need Ogre Pond to beat the Ting Lu because Greninja will not do it on its own. Well, I could also go for Synth because this thing getting paralyzed is not the end of the world. And like, what's the Thunder is going to click into me that's going to kill me, right? I think I'm just going to Synth, yeah. If he U-turns, I'm still faster than everything. So here's Synthesis. Sludge Bomb, okay. And he poisons me. All right, that's unfortunate. Uh, we will go Boulder here. I think I just click cleave. Um, I can still get off really good damage on the Ting Lu through Moltres and Greninja. So I am just going to go for, alternatively I could predict here and go for Megahorn and try to get off big damage into the Ting Lu. But I think the play is just to cleave, yeah. Okay, we get rid of the Thunderous. It's three to two. I'm somehow still in this game. Yeah, I don't know what opportunity I will actually have to heal my Moltres is the thing because Roost will make me work weak to Earthquake. His Ting Lu also probably has Throat Chop. Deoxys comes hard in though. Interesting. Megahorn kills, right? Could kill. That's a max HP variant as well. So yeah, I think we do just Megahorn. I don't think I die to anything from this. Like at worst, it knocks me off. Goes for Nasty Plot. We do hit the Megahorn and we KO the Deoxys. Fantastic. In comes Ting Lu. I shouldn't die to one hit from Ting Lu. Uh, it's a roll. It's a roll. Alternatively, I could just go Moltres and U-turn, but I think the play is just a Megahorn. Just get off as much damage as I can. That's weakness policy. Whoa. All right. <laughs> That's uh, dangerous. I think now I Flare Blitz into Hydro Pump. Alternatively, I could U-turn into Moltres and then Hydro Pump. Being that this thing is weakness policy, I think that might be my play. I want to see how much U-turn does. Hydro does 37 of 44 to this Ting Lu. If it's max HP, max FDF, apparently, somehow, it still does that much. That's crazy. U-turn uh, does 14. So... Yeah, I think the play is to go Gren, U-turn out, get off the chip, go to Moltres. Hopefully he earthquakes. He does. And now I can flare blitz, get this thing low, 9% to where U-turn KOs, right? How much did U-turn do? 17? Yeah. Let's go. We beat Shadow. Woo! <laughs> okay. I needed a win today, guys. I played this game the same day I played Goldoa. Uh, if you guys missed that match, definitely go and check it out. It was uploaded last Saturday, but <laughs> I, I really needed a win after what just happened to me. So uh, a very close 1-0 victory uh, over JCM Shadow, which now puts us at a 3-1 record. So we're doing really well in this league. Thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely go and check out my opponent and all the other players in the TGS this season in the description down below. Yeah, thank you guys so much. Again, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, if this is your first time on the channel or otherwise, and I will catch you guys later. See ya.